The Invictus Games, a beacon of hope and resilience for wounded servicemen and women, is often portrayed as the brainchild of Prince Harry. This narrative has captivated the public, painting Harry as the sole visionary behind the event. However, what if this story is more intricate than it appears? Recent revelations suggest that Prince William's role has been significantly understated, casting a new light on the origins and management of this noble initiative. For years, Prince Harry has been celebrated as the face of the Invictus Games, leading the charge to create a platform where injured veterans can showcase their strength through sports. Yet, whispers of Prince William's involvement are starting to emerge, challenging the dominant narrative. Insiders claim that William was not just a supportive brother in the background but rather a key architect of the Games. Known for his quiet yet effective leadership, William reportedly led crucial meetings and made significant decisions that shaped the event's foundation. Photographic evidence from a 2014 Royal Foundation meeting shows William and Harry discussing the Games, with William clearly taking the lead. This portrayal contrasts sharply with the image of Harry as the sole driving force. Furthermore, it's important to acknowledge the influence of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, who also contributed to the initial concept of the Games. Despite these contributions, the narrative has predominantly highlighted Harry, often overshadowing the critical roles played by his family. So why has this skewed version of events persisted? For one, Harry's public relations team has worked diligently to craft an image of him as the mastermind behind the Invictus Games. This portrayal resonated with the public, helping to solidify his reputation. However, as Harry's relationship with the royal family has become strained and his distance from royal duties has increased, cracks in this narrative have started to show. Prince William, ever the supportive older brother, may have consciously allowed Harry to take the spotlight to help him establish a purpose. Harry has long struggled with his identity within the royal family, often feeling overshadowed by William's more dutiful demeanor. As the truth about the game's inception begins to surface, Harry faces new challenges. Rumors of a potential return to the UK are circulating, suggesting he seeks to rehabilitate his public image. Friends are reportedly strategizing ways for him to make a low-profile comeback, perhaps through smaller charity events without Meghan Markle by his side. Yet, amid these plans, darker shadows from Harry's past loom large. Allegations regarding his treatment of women have resurfaced, threatening to overshadow any attempts at redemption. As he seeks to reclaim his place, these unresolved issues could hinder his efforts. Interestingly, some insiders speculate that distancing himself from Meghan might be his best chance at regaining public favor, as opinions about her influence vary widely. The relationship between the two brothers appears to be more strained than ever, with reports suggesting that William is keeping his distance from Harry. This tension raises questions about the future of the Invictus Games and the public image of both princes. As the complexities behind this celebrated event continue to unfold, it becomes clear that the narrative of the Invictus Games is far richer and more nuanced than previously thought. In exploring the depths of this story, we begin to understand that the truth often hides in the shadows, waiting to be revealed. As the public narrative evolves, one can only wonder how these revelations will shape the futures of both Harry and William, and whether the Invictus Games will continue to serve as a platform for healing, resilience and unity.